Here's an interview from one of our past shows on Rock and Metal Revival. If you're interested in hearing full shows, go to our Facebook page and check out our list of affiliates for times and places where you can hear Rock and Metal Revival. That was Drill to Kill off the Immortal album from the Michael Shanker Group. New album just came out uh, a few weeks ago. And on the phone, I got none other than the Mad Axe Man himself, Michael Shanker. How you doing, Michael? Considering the circumstances with the virus, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. With the uh, so, like, with the pandemic and everything, how did how how different was putting this album together compared to like the last one? It it, it was a long journey. I mean, the last album had its own um, situations. Um, you know, getting musicians from all over the world together. Um, and and recording uh it's very expensive oh, yeah. uh, you know ev- everybody living in a different country and so on but but this album w- was a, a very very long journey um with lots of um you know it, it actually comes in in three in three stages um the the, the first idea was 2019 to mm. celebrate the Michael Schenker um, 50th anniversary uh, with musicians, fans, and friends. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I said, um, it, musicians from all over the world getting together, it's, it's so complicated. So I kind of, it just dragged on and on. And I thought I lost the timing mm. uh, for the 2020 release, uh, which when I was 15, put the first note on the Lonesome Crow Scorpions album. And for me, that is the release. That, that is for me the, the real time of when it was recorded. But then my agent told me that, Michael, uh, the album was released in 72. Ah. So I said, man, then I have two years to get it all together. <laughs> so I had hope again. But this time I decided to make it a, a you know, like a, a, a humble 50th anniversary with a, with a compact band. I asked Ronnie Romero if he would sing all the songs and, mm-hmm. and, and you know, Bodo Shop, the drummer, um, Steve Mann, and uh, Barry Sparks kept emailing me, Michael, I want to be your bass player. I said, she got it. <laughs> and right. so, you know, uh, I, I had a compact band together and uh, and that was the plan and and so i you know i i was actually on the uh, early 2020 i was on the metal cruise mm. and uh, when i came back uh, i spent four days in miami that was early 2020 and uh, started writing and, uh, went to the uk where i live and um, carried on writing i did all my compositions and then i saw on tv that there was a problem you know, with the virus. And so that started to um, already right there to complicate things, to, to how, how do I get from the UK to Germany to yeah. Michael Foss's recording studio, my co-producer, um, you know, the, the usual uh, route I took was going through um, like the Euro Channel and then France, Belgium, Holland, and and and, uh, and then make it to Germany. But this time I couldn't, uh-huh. and so I went. Oh, you know what? 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 What can we do? Yeah. And so we found a another v- a way of getting there. Holland wasn't a problem, so I went to Harwich and took a boat. Uh, and I I use I travel by car. Um, actually, had to sleep on the boat for seven eight hours, and then finally made it to the recording studio, put my uh, musical compositions down, and then it was time for Ronnie uh, to start singing. And uh, we called him up, are you ready? And he said, I'm sorry, I can't. (laughs) I I think he lives in Bulgaria, and everything is blocked, and I I, I can't afford to go on on 14 days uh, quarantine. And... Uh. uh, we said, okay, don't worry, we, we, we think of something. And uh, my partner, um, Amy, um, who was a bass player, 
she has a very good taste and uh, um, and 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 is a music consumer. And I I I haven't been listening to music for fifty years, so I don't know what is out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, I asked her, do you ha we are stuck with Ronnie uh, at this point. Um, do you have an idea? And she said, well, shit, us. And oh yeah. I I said to Michael Foss, uh, what do you think of Ralph Shippers? Absolutely. Oh, the yeah. next day, they were recording and recorded another song. So that was two songs less for Ronnie. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, at the same time, um, there was a phone call coming in from, from uh, uh, Brian Titchy offering six drum tracks you know, as a fan, to oh. uh, make a contribution um, for the 50th anniversary of Michael Shanker. Wow. And I said, what? <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> all of a sudden, it, it, it's all triggering in. Mm -hmm. And then he, call, he called back Michael Foss just uh, minutes later and said, a, a, a buddy of mine, uh, um, Derek Sheranian um, oh, yeah. from Dream Theater, uh, he, he 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 is also a fan. And he, he wants to make a contribution, and and I said, "What are we gonna do with a <laughs> with a with a with a, with, a, with, with a keyboard player?" Because I already have Steve Mann. I mm -hmm. put all my guitars down um, myself this time, just to make it as much Mike Shank as possible, mm -hmm. and uh, ask uh, Steve Mann just to do some little bit of coloring on the keyboards and. Uh, and so he agreed, and I said to Michael Frost, well, what are we going to do with Derek? I mean, yeah. he's a heavy duty, <laughs> he's yeah. a top ten. Uh -huh. I mean, what, what, what can we do with him? He said, why don't you do a, a, a guitar keyboard jam? I said, guitar keyboard jam? Yeah. I've never done this before. He said, well, it's your 50th anniversary. You know, maybe it's, it's something that would be very refreshing go, uh, a new uh, something we haven't done before mm -hmm. and, and, and and it would be very interesting and and i i kind of got excited about it you know i said like wow this is would be a fantastic addition you know to 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 the whole thing and so um we ended up with and and that song ended mm -hmm. up to be thrill to kill yeah and and when I actually listened to the result of that song and heard Ralph singing, I didn't even know there was a singer like that on this planet. <laughs> it was <laughs> I <know>. unbelievable. <laughs> oh, when yeah. I heard it, it was so incredible. And and and, and then Brian Titch is drumming, you know. I mean, he's one of the best drummers in the world with White Snake and Black, uh, 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 Ozzy Osbourne, et, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And, and many more, and uh, and then Derek on top doing this 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 uh, guitar keyboard jam. Yeah, man, I tell you, I was over the moon. Uh -huh. I, I I was so shocked by the result of that song. Uh, it, it was unbelievable. Yeah, and, and and you know, so 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 that that is the story to True to Kill. But I must say. That you know, the virus actually started to uh, uh, redirect my second idea of a humble 50th anniversary, Michael Schenker, a less complicated um, mm -hmm. idea. All of a sudden, it became a third situation, which made it. I mean. It, it's unbelievable how how all of a sudden every, everything shaped up. It, it, it was just step by step. It was like you know, Ronnie, are you ready? <laughs> I mean, he already lost two songs. You know, <laughs> Ronnie, are you ready for the for the uh, you know to to start singing? I'm sorry, I can't. It's, it's, uh, uh, I can't do 40 days quarantine. Uh, mm. I am blocked up here and and blocked up. On, Whatever, and, and we said, okay, don't worry, we, we think of something. And and then it was, uh, uh, then I said to Michael first, what, you, what, what are we going to do now? He said, what do you think of, of uh, 
Joe Lintana. Oh. Joe Lintana, he is one of my favorites. He's a fan, I'm a fan. I mean, do you have a, a contact to him? He said, absolutely. The next day, nice. they were recording and recorded another song. I said, Michael, what is going on here? This is unbelievable, you know? And, and so Ronnie lost already four songs. <laughs> and, and, you know, and then, and then I had a power ballad. And Michael Cross, uh, my co-producer, he, he always writes a B plan for singers in case they need help and, or get stuck. Mm-hmm. And uh, and said like Michael, this is you know I, I've never written a power ballad like that before. I, I don't even remember that I did, and it just showed up in my compositions. And and, and I came up, I came back from the hotel one morning, uh, and, and and Michael first said to me, "Here, look, Michael, this is what I did." Um, you know, he's a singer and, mm-hmm. and uh, as well. Have a listen, and, and I listened to it. I said, Michael. This is so beautiful. Only you can sing this song. And then there was mm-hmm. another song, which was an unusual song, which the, the vocals he put down to that uh, uh, on on that on that musical composition w- was was so perfect. I said, Michael Foss, you have to sing those two songs, and that was six songs less for Ronnie. <laughs> and then, of course, Ronnie. Uh, became available, and uh, and he he, ups- he did a fantastic job, of course. Oh yeah. Um, once once he started going, and and uh, and you know with with Night of the the Dead and mm. uh, um, Sail the Darkness, um, Sail the Darkness, and Come on Over, In Search mm. of the Peace of Mind, and then there's a, there is an eleventh song which is not on the album, which we want to use for. A, 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 a tour promotion uh, as a single and uh, is also sung by Ronnie and, and, and drums by Brian Titchy and uh, and so you know it, it, it was just like I, I don't understand you know I, I couldn't <laughs> understand what was going on uh-huh. um, because everything I wanted in the beginning in 2019 all of a sudden, happened all by itself. I, 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 it, it went so incredible. I, I don't even want to take credit for it. I feel like it's, it's, it's like a gift from heaven, you know, like saying, Michael, this is what we give you as a present, you know, for staying uh, as a gift to stay um, true to yourself for, for 50 years mm-hmm. and, 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 uh, you know, this is what we give you. That's how I feel. Because even, I mean, in search of the peace of mind, which became, you know, the, um, my, 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 my celebration, mm-hmm. the pr- celebration song for the 50th anniversary to re-record, but making it a, an epic, yeah. uh, which was the first, song I ever, the first piece of music I ever wrote all by myself. Somehow the Scorpions credited themselves for it. Uh, I have no uh. idea why and how, and, but, but uh, 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 they did. But I did it in my mother's kitchen all by myself, so, so there, was, there was nobody involved. And I actually, Michael Frost sent me the original credits, you know, uh, of the Lonesome Coast Scorpions album saying, uh, lyrics by Michael Schenker, uh, lyrics by Rudolf Schenker. <laughs> uh-huh. I said to Michael, how, how, how can Michael Schenker be uh, credit, credited for lyrics? I had zero knowledge of English and neither had Rudolf. Uh-huh. You know, and, and, and it was a complete misinformation that said Michael Schenker music and, and whoever did the lyrics. Mm-hmm. And then it was also called In Search of the Peace of Mind, which became the theme of my life, looking for contentment, peace and mm-hmm. fulfillment and so on. Um, it was the first note I ever put on a recording. And, and you know, for, for those reasons, uh, it, it, it was the beginning. And it had to be, it, it, it was like almost, you know, having that song as the last song on the album, it's like mm-hmm. a complete a cycle, you know, a completed cycle of how it all started and how it ended. And I wanted to make 
in search of the peace of mind in epic and so i put a lot of guitar on the end and mm. 